hey, sorry about that. I'm still not good at this. Um, the thing that I was showing you just a minute ago, one of the things that I was saying that I did besides write compulsively was um, I don't watch TV or the news or whatever, so I was looking at YouTube and I was, you know, researching, not just YouTube, but lots of different things, you know, with the Hebrew and just, I was being led to look at things like um, Tesla, mathematics, space, the pi equation, uh, da Vinci, um, Hebrew, uh, the, just stuff, learning stuff about myself, um, and, um, it, it was a trip. So anyway, I would watch the YouTube videos or whatever, and when I did, or I would read an article or whatever, I would just take meticulous notes. I was also watching, um, a, a, a teacher on, on YouTube and I would listen to his teachings and I would take notes. My hand would just move on its own accord and take notes. And now all those notes completely make sense at the time. I didn't know, you know, what was happening. And I remember going to my sister's in June and I didn't want to leave all my papers cause I, I was still very much in la la land and didn't know what was happening. Um, but the papers and the words, they're like, my babies they're like I know people look at them and they just see a bunch of crazy writing but it's not um, um anyway so the random notes what it would be was for instance I was reading an article about on YouTube about a guy who was traveling it, it said a hiker is shelter sheltering from a by from the virus on a deserted Scottish island um, and then suddenly, blah, 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 something happened. He hiked, um, 8,700 miles, you know, and the article went on. But as I was reading the article, I took some very strange notes. Um, and what it says is, what the notes say is, America is rotting. More of the swan's DNA is being sprayed. Spray on to them Elohim UFO, 10,078 feet Haleakalea. That's Haleakalea Volcano in Maui. Uh, actually, I went to Maui uh, for two weeks in August of 2019. I'd tell that in the other story, too. Um, it be, I only mention it because it's exceptionally important. It's everything. Well, everything's everything, but... Um, uh, Maui is where creation was made, um, is, it was, uh, the land of the land of the land. That's why they call it the Aloha land, the land of love. That's why they say the culture has this and that and the other. And I don't really want to get into that right now. It's just for a different time. But, um, anyway, when it said spray onto them Elohim, I was like, oh my gosh, what am I even seeing? What am I into? I didn't know what was going on. Um, and then it said, basically it said that the guy was eating sea mussels to, to stay alive because he was stuck out on the Scottish Isle, uh, it, when the pandemic first hit. And again, you see the notes that I took because of that. And it was telling me that they were talking about Hawaiian islands. And I was like, why is all this crazy stuff happening? And, you know, coming out about Hawaii and this and that and the other. So then... Um, you know, I knew that when I was out there that, you know, that they advertise all the power that's out there and the this and the that. And then I ended up doing some research on the ley lines, the energy fields, uh, that make up our, our world as we know it. And, uh, Maui is like the center of the universe. And I'll explain that later, but it, I didn't know that in the spring of 2020 when all this stuff was happening to me. I was like, hey, I'm just remembering my trip to Maui and all these Prince lyrics and all this crazy stuff is happening to me. We're on lockdown. I'm playing the piano. Roll with it. I knew some important stuff was happening and I was stripping out, you know. So I went with it because I knew it was important. Um, what I was saying before, I said he ate a whole... The article said he ate a whole place, a plate of mussels. But what I was doing at the time was writing backwards uh, or something. And and so the whole plate of muscles turned into the sentence, unless some of Elohim's angels stop stop the, um, the spraying 
of the artificial UFO. Uh, so you can imagine, you know, and then I wrote, you know, don't cry unless you're happy, you know, don't smile unless you're blue. And then it wrote, Honda La Cilia, you're called. So all of these things um, were coming together at the same time. But one of the most important things that had happened was, <laughs> they're all important, the song Breakdown, uh, Prince's song Breakdown that came out in 2013, I think. Um, when I heard the song, I told my family that it, it wrecked me. It wrecked me. You know, you hear you have all of these intricate, melodic songs that take you from one universe to another, you know, Holy River, you know, Soul Sanctuary, all, you know, all of them. And then here's Breakdown in the same redundant pattern, in the same rhymey words, um... And then there was the scream that was three quarters of the way through. And I was like, man, something is going to happen to Prince. Because I told you I was always feeling him. like. And so I told everybody something was going to happen. And on, uh, you know, the, April 21st, 2016, everybody probably expected me to say something. But the only thing I had to say was that it was expected. It was the breakdown. And I knew it was coming, basically, because I just couldn't think of any thing else um and I knew it was coming I just didn't know it was going to be death exactly um anyway um ramble uh I, I want to get my train of thought back one moment uh, you know I was just skimming through some of this and uh again uh I was writing down things like Fibonacci sequence mathematics um uh I was trying to learn to write Hebrew. Um, there was so many things going on at once. It was like, <laughs> I don't know, kind of like in the Matrix, you know, you plug in like a CD or something and program. It's like I was being programmed, but phys physically. So um, there was so much stuff going on. Um, and I, one second. I'm sorry I have to make this video this way. It's the best way I can think of to get all the pieces together. Um, you know, some of these other notes I'm just looking at, they always make my memory work, but, you know, I had just been to Maui, but when I started taking notes about the marina, banyan trees, called it an Elohim tree, and then I wrote Vatican and Lahaina, upside down, if I'm saying that right, Lahaina, Lahaina uh, is another uh, city there in Maui, it is where the Vatican is hiding. Um, I didn't know it at the time. Well, hiding in plain sight. Um, I didn't know it when I was taking these notes in the spring of 2020. I was like, why am I seeing this crazy information? You know, but, um, I'm sick of beating around the bush about it. Um, there, as I've said in the other videos, um, to the best of my recollection, are the white supremacists who control all the money, who have stolen all the money, and they've been rerunning time just like an hourglass, the days of our lives. And I have to be sarcastic to get through this. I'm sorry. Um, Prince Rogers used to refer to them as the gatekeepers. Um, He wasn't just fighting f for his master recordings. He was fighting what were essentially, you know, his masters by contract um, to more than a music industry. Um, that's why when I would hear his music, I'd be like, man, you know, singing about polyvinyl acetate in the Exodus uh, CD. And, you know, a lot of the more real music would be on the NPG uh, not the stuff that got played on the radio by Prince, um, but polyvinyl acetate he's singing about in the Exodus has begun. On that CD, I want to say while I'm thinking about it, they talk about rest in peace to Prince. Prince always sang Prince is dead, and not only did he write Slave on his face to renegotiate contracts uh, with the so-and-sos, um, 
the reason he actually did that, it was mirror writing too. Um, it said to save the alien and also savior. Uh, with the mirror writing, a lot of the master letters spell a lot of different things. Um, so anyway, when I was writing about those things, I had no idea what was happening because I still had no real recollection of what had happened when I died uh, May, June of 2020. Still, I didn't know. Um, I was writing about and studying, you know, with the Hebrew, I was looking at successive weeks, you know, the Sabbath, uh, Isaiah's name would come up all the time in the writing. Um, and, you know, another album that was made is called the Truth Album, an excellent album because, uh, there's third eye awareness on there. They sing about the animal kingdom. Um, you see, it was so strange to me because I was writing, all this Bible stuff, all this stuff about Hawaii was getting rolled in, all the Prince lyrics were getting rolled in. I didn't know what was happening. Uh, I just want to show you a couple more things. Um, as I come across the writings, I find the stuff that's important to mention. Um, the other thing that started tripping me out, but not so much, um, in 2013, I... I put real effort into learning uh, about why there was evil in the world. Um, my daughter had introduced Illuminati and, and some things to me, and I watched, I think at that time it was the 2012 uh, uh, Olympic opening and closing ceremonies. And at that time, what they were depicting was they were crucifying, like, the Adam and Eve story, like, made it a whole big disgusting like sexual thing uh with demons and then and then at that same time and now it all comes together that's why i mention it because it's very important at that same time i was also introduced to cern c-e-r-n it's a <clears throat> they say it's a uh i don't know nuclear collider reactor or something something in switzerland um they're trying to recreate the God particle. Uh, what they're actually doing is running that on the creator's energy. And they're trying to duplicate it and use it to change people. Um, we're made of energy. Um, and when you go to places like Maui, <clears throat> You're going to see in my videos, um, somebody doesn't like me saying this because they're trying to give me a headache right now, but I told them then and I'm going to tell them now. We win. Anyway, when you go to Maui, and probably some other places in the world I have it written down, they have ley lines, this is, uh, you're at the equator of the earth, um, and I forget the name now, but it's not actually round there, it's like more elongated. Um, right there at the equator and the reason is I, I can't remember every detail and I'll probably have some things wrong but the creator uh, I am the one they call Prince Rogers Nelson and all that he told me that I can't remember exactly how that originally we all came from like space that all of us are like you know space particles and we were made you know we're like you know and the creator used what was there to create us so within us we have divine energy you know it's like every single one of us you know we're made up of that divine energy and what's being done to us right now we're being lied to uh told to cover that beautiful beautiful dna that you were given by your creator because they want you to mask you, which masks your creator, as they unmask themselves. And who are they? You will come to find out they are the Vatican. They are white supremacists. As I said, I have no problem saying that anymore because they don't scare me. I done seen too much good and you're going to see it too. So anyway, when I was doing this in the spring of 2020, I started writing about Orion and it said you and I, you know, and then I got to thinking about Prince's song, you know, the arms of Orion, and all this trippy stuff started happening. So it's all meant to be. And at first I didn't know it and I was embarrassed to say it, but now I can't wait to say it because it's going to bring the truth into the world instead of the lie that's on it right now. The reason that I started this video 
I didn't mean to dip back into all of this, but I'm trying to make it make sense as to why you see me so emotional and you will clearly see me emotional again. Um, one of the things that, well, Gematria does is it represents the alphabet is like letters and numbers. Um, I'm not going to get too much into that now, but because I'm not an expert that I know of still, or if I am, I don't remember. Anyway, um, amongst all the things that were happening to me, some dates dawned on me when I first started making this video, as well as some other things. And I, I, I can't do it this way. I, I can't do it this way. I apologize. I'll have to get back to that.